every bot you build in ChatFuel is composed of two built-in blocks. Those are the welcome message, which is effectively the homepage of the bot, and the default answer, which I'll talk more about in the next lesson. The welcome message is absolutely critical for the user experience because it's the first impression users get of the bot and it can make or break the experience. Keep in mind though that the welcome message is only shown to people who organically message your page by navigating to the business page and clicking the send message call to action button, whereas you're gonna have different welcome messages set up for people who enter the bot through commenting on a post and interacting, or people who enter the bot through a Facebook ad with a messenger destination. So I'll talk more about those later in the course, but keep in mind that the welcome message, while important, is only one element of the larger picture. Now, there are three key components for a successful welcome message, and I'm gonna cover those right now. The first of which is that a successful welcome message should greet the user, ideally by first name as well. So let's show an example of that. I'm gonna use a text element here, and I'll simply say hi, and type in the two open brackets to use the user's first name, and I'll say hi, first name. In this case, hi, Andrew. So that's a key component of this. You want to acknowledge the user and personalize it, greeting them by name. Next is you want to explain the value proposition of the bot, and this is super, super important. So many people overlook this. At the end of the day, right now, a lot of people are just using bots to look cool and trendy, like they're following all these tech trends. In reality, a lot of bots don't actually serve a larger purpose. They're just there without really any key goal in mind. So what you wanna do is very clearly elucidate that in the welcome message. For example, if we're building a product recommendation bot, we can say, hi, first name, use our bot to find the perfect gift for your loved one, right? So we very clearly established that value proposition. If we wanted to go even deeper, we could say in 60 seconds, right? So it's a very small time commitment, a very small investment of their time. And in exchange, they get you know, a satisfying product for somebody they love. So that is a perfect value proposition right there, keeping it very concise and succinct. Finally, you also want to include some sort of call to action button here. So for example, we could add a button that says start quiz. And this could take them to a block called start quiz, where they will answer the first question to this product recommendation quiz, and they can take an action right then and there, right? It's not ambiguous. It's not requiring them to type in some question or ask how does this work or anything like that. It's very, very clear. So those are three of the best practices. One other tip for you as well is that you need to set expectations in the welcome message, ideally. This can be either implicit or explicit, but if you're explicit about it, that's even better. So one example of this is you want to make it very clear that the bot is a bot and not a human. You wanna set the expectations that, hey, you should rely on the menus and the buttons in this bot instead of asking questions by typing in on the keyboard because the reality is bots are not designed to accept input so much as they are menu-based and button-based. So keep that in mind. You could, as Lego has done, use like a GIF showing that they're using a bot, it's this Lego character who you know, shows that it's a bot and not pretending to be a human, so that's really a best practice and you wanna be upfront and clear about that as best as you can. You don't want to, again, pretend that a human is instantly responding because that'll set false expectations. People will just type things to try to see how intelligent the bot is and at the end of the day, that's not rooting the experience in value, it's just kind of a, a corny and cheesy experience. One other thing to mention here in the welcome message as well is that you have an added level of personalization with GoToBlocks or the Send Block plugin. So if I delete this welcome message, for example, I can actually filter based on gender, for example, what welcome message I actually wanna show. So I'll use this Send Block and it doesn't have to be gender, it can be any criteria. Uh, for example, locale, meaning the language people speak. So I'm going to filter and I'll say if gender is male, then I'll send them to male welcome message. 
I won't waste time by making the female version as well, but we could also do if gender is female, then send them to a certain welcome message. And so then what we could do here is on this male welcome message, we know they're a man, so we could greet them by Mr. as the salutation, for example. We could say, hello, Mr., and then use the person's last name that comes from Facebook. So again, this isn't necessary at all. It's just an added level of personalization that you can use with the send block plugin. So this is how to create a welcome message. I encourage you now to craft your own welcome message for your bot. Again, remember to greet the user, use some sort of value proposition to make that time investment clear, and then include a call to action so that they can take the next step.